Funding continues to be one of the biggest inhibitors of small business growth. This is a fact that has just become so con commonplace. Now, we caught up with the chief executive of FinFind, and they offer small businesses access to funding. Let's take a look at that conversation. How does FinFind work? How does it allow entrepreneurs and funders to connect? Yeah, I think what you said in the beginning there that um, funders are saying they can't find the entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs are here, you know, they struggle to get finance. So we wanted a one-stop shop that, that entrepreneurs could go to to find out, number one, who are the lenders, what do the lenders need from them, what is the readiness criteria, and then just give them um, sort of a real glossary and a dictionary of what is a term loan, what is collateral. So it's a one-stop shop that is online, available on your mobile phone uh, or any um, online um, um, device for them to, to find a place where, where someone will fund them. And what kind of funding are we looking at? Is it sector specific? Are there particular criteria that uh, entrepreneurs have to meet before they can access funds uh, via FinFind? Okay, so it's, um, at the moment it takes the whole landscape, for instance, of the South African market. Mm -hmm. So right from um, e every government fund or grant or, or incentive that exists is in FinFind. It's the only place you can go to where you can click on one link and you can get all of the different funds and understand what they fund. So it, it, it includes every sector. So there are sector specific funds, mm. but ultimately there's angels, there's VCs, there's banks, there's private lenders. So every lender in the private sector and government sector in South Africa is in the portal. And so what happened, um, as you said, you know, how do people know whether they're going to get money or not? The list of questions that they answer and based on their readiness, we mm. then link them with all of the funds that match you know, they're in this industry, in this province, um, they're looking for this much funding and they want it for bridging or for a contract. And we, uh, it's intelligence in the background links it to the funders and they get a list of those funders that are broken down mm. what they need, what they need to do. Let's talk about that intelligence uh, in the back end. If you were, take to, were to take an assessment of the kind of queries that come in from entrepreneurs, what seems to be the biggest uh, need to take businesses to the next level or to get startups up and running? But I think there's a big gap, um, not only in, in Southern Africa, but in the continent, in uh, businesses that are turning over less than uh, one, million, uh, $1 million. And that is what was really the missing middle. Mm. And um, a lot of the banks, in South Africa, for instance, only 3% of money lent to startups comes from banks. Only 4% comes from government. Mm. So you've got to have a, well, where's the rest of the money coming from? So the questions or the queries that we're getting is, is as you said right at the beginning, we need finance, we're struggling to get it. Mm. And um, I think a lot of entrepreneurs, first of all, don't know who the lenders are. That's a big thing. And they don't have the time and the resources to be running around and trying to find out mm. where each of them are. The second thing is, what is the readiness criteria? What yeah. forms do I have to have? So FinFind breaks it down. It, it's done in a very easy speak, sort of an entrepreneur speak. And it, it takes you through a process of actually realizing actually am I or am I not ready for finance? Because mm. the question that the lenders, well the, the thing that the lenders are saying, they're getting a lot of applications, yeah. but they're only 20 to 40% ready for finance. They mm. don't have financial statements, they don't have management accounts. So FinFind links them with accountants, with business consultants, with tools that can help them with their accounting. So all of the challenges that um, research was done over five years to say, what are these pitfalls? Yeah. FinFind has taken those and converted them into solutions and giving them out in bite size um, chunks for, for people to understand. And how long has FinFind been in the market and I asked only to get a sense of whether you've begun to see certain trends in terms of businesses that do eventually get the funding so they jump the hurdle of readiness whether they're actually surviving post the funding uh, phase. Sure. So we were, um, FinFind was launched by the Small Business Minister um, in South Africa in October um, uh, October 30th, 2015. So that was only a couple of months ago. Mm. And obviously we've been over that, that, that quite a period of the festive season. But we, um, FinFound's been inundated with, um, with, with requests from small business. And at the moment we, we're picking up some quite nice trends about readiness, the types of, of, of um, questions that they're asking, mm. where, where they, um, they find that the information is helpful or not. And of course we linked with every lender so we can see where the success rates are happening. Mm. In the next phase, we're actually going to be going on to online linking with all those lenders right. and be able to track that, that application right through to its success. And of course, it's really interesting because on the one hand, you mentioned uh, the, the traditional banks and the government as being w much of the smaller sources of funding. And it seems it's really the venture capitalists and the angel investors that actually come 
with the funding? Have they latched onto the platform? What kind of value and benefits are you giving to uh, lenders who are looking to, to fund the right things and the right people? Absolutely. I think lenders, uh, VCs and angels have the same problem. Where do they find the quality um, businesses? Yeah. So, I mean, banks and some of the some of the government funds, there's some risk aversion there, but VCs are there to take a risk. Yes. But they need to be able to filter through because they might be, you know, fintech specific or, you know, whatever they're wanting to do. So mm. they get a fantastic profile of that business because mm. when, the, when the entrepreneur comes in, they get asked firstly a list of questions about the owner of the business. Then they get asked a list of questions about the company itself. How big it is, how, you know, mm. how many, um, uh, what, where it is geographically located, industry. Um, it breaks right down to revenue, etc. Mm. giving bans. And then it asks questions about readiness. Do you have your bank, uh, bank statements? Do you have your financial statements? Do you, ha do you own your property? Do you rent, etc.? So all of those questions being answered mm. gives both the, the lender, yeah. the business consultant, or the accountant that's going to engage with that entrepreneur a very good insight into um, who they're working with. It really sounds like a fantastic initiative. If we were to just talk about a long-term outlook, is this something that we could see uh, being expanded onto the continent? What's the, ga what's the game plan and the outlook for FinFind? Absolutely. I mean, the, the FinFound was birthed through um, uh, USAID's uh, intervention into South Africa. And so USAID is a partner um, uh, with FinFound PTY Limited and then in South Africa with, with, um, with national government. But USAID's vision for it was that it would go up into Africa so that every country would have all the lenders in, would be able to access finance. And one of the key things is this issue of readiness. Mm. Um, it doesn't help to keep asking a lender if you're not ready. And I think the biggest thing that FinFind addresses is, is readiness. And that's quite, you know, 80% of that is generic uh, across the continent. Yeah. And then, of course, there's specifics um, in, in different regions. So the vision is, um, is Africa and uh, to make sure that there's a, there's a one-stop shop for people to go to. And the fantastic thing, it's free. Entrepreneurs access FinFind for free. It's the lenders and people behind that that, have to, that, 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 are, that are paying the fees to engage. Right. But uh, any entrepreneur with a, with a mobile phone or access to the internet can get onto FinFind, learn about access to finance, put their, 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 their questions in. Certainly from tonight's conversations, we've learned that you don't only need a business idea, you also need the energy to run with that idea. And of course, funding will always be top of mind. And this is what we found out from FinFind. Guys, thank you so much for making the time to join us. I hope that you're building those empires. And don't forget that if you want us to witness that journey with you, all you need to do is just drop us a tweet. That's following me at The Real Nosy or at CNBC Africa. And don't forget the hashtag, it's YoungMoney410. Until next time, it's goodbye.